Now, South African insurer Old Mutual is spending 2.4 billion rand to try and prop up its share price. It says it will buy back shares from investors to try and bring them up to a fair price. So the company released results today for the six months that ended in June, showing a 10% increase in profits. But Old Mutual's share price has been pummeled in recent months due to a very public spat with its sacked CEO, Peter Moyer. So Moyer was fired in June, then he was temporarily reinstated stated by a judge, a decision Old Mutual is appealing. He was then axed again in August. Moyo has asked the courts to declare that decision, uh, that that decision undermined the constitution and the functioning of the courts. Old Mutual says the initial decision related to a conflict of interest around a company that both Moyo and Old Mutual are invested in. Now Moyo owns 25% of a company called NMT, which he co-founded. Old Mutual owns 20%. Moyo was paid dividends of more than 30 million rand by the company, whilst Old Mutual says it was still owed payout. Moyo says the claims were manufactured artificially, and this is about his deteriorating relationship with Old Mutual chairman Trevor Manuel. Well, today, Old Mutual said it was planning to exit NMT. Old Mutual is the second largest insurer in the country. It's branched out globally, but over the past few years, it has returned to a focus on Africa with a primary, uh, primary listing in Johannesburg. This is the second buyback it's launched to try and prop up its share price since the listing last year. Well, to discuss, we're joined in studio now by the interim CEO of Old Mutual, Ian Williamson. Thank you for being with us, uh, Mr. Thanks Williamson. Thanks for having me. We, we appreciate it. So a second share buyback this year, is that good practice or, or desperation now because of the share price? Thanks, Francis. No, it's quite normal practice. Um, effectively, when a company determines that it has more capital than it requires to support its ongoing operations, the good thing to do, good practice, is to return that capital to shareholders. There's two ways to do that. You can either declare a special dividend or you can choose to buy back your shares. It's actually more tax effective for our shareholders for us to do the share buyback. And yes, the share price plays a role in thinking about whether one does a share buyback or not. Yeah. Usually companies will buy back their shares if they determine that the current value in the market is lower than a benchmark that they set for themselves that will provide a guideline. And in this case, our board decided that the buyback was the right route to go. I see, though, that by the end of the day, the share price had dropped. Initially, it, it rose this morning. It dropped to around 17.76. You say fair value is 24 rand per share, roughly, I, I think. Um, but you're throwing billions at the problem. Could you not land up throwing billions more at, at this problem? Well, I think it's a, a misnomer to think that it's throwing billions at a problem. It's just a mechanism to return capital to shareholders. Um, the, the, in, the value that you refer to, the 24 Rand, is what we call our group equity value, which is just a model that has a look at uh, what the value of the company might be on, on certain parameters. The, the, the fall, however, has come mostly because of... Peter Moyo versus Old Mutual. Um, a lot of shareholders have expressed frustration, even Stanlib saying this, this problem has to be sorted out. Does Old Mutual have regret about the way this very public spat has been handled with Peter Moyo? Uh, not particularly from our side. Yeah. You know, our stance is that um, most of the litigation, or all of the litigation that's currently in, underway was instituted by Peter and his legal team. We simply are defending the position that he is and the allegations that have been made against us. And, and you still believe your position is right? Well, we still believe that we need to ultimately set the record straight around the allegations that have been made. As you know, the current matter is under appeal and or we have applied for right to appeal and mm. we expect a judgment on that in the next couple of weeks. I don't think it's really appropriate to comment on the process until we hear back on the outcome of that judgment. Yeah, but everyone knows what your stance is. I mean, that's public and what his stance is. It, it's very public. C can I ask you, um, I think the, the concern for shareholders, and maybe it's something that we can address, is that this is about egos, or it's about a relationship between Peter Moyo and, and Trevor Manuel. Are any of those concerns valid? I don't believe so. So to, to give a little bit of context, 
I was not part of the old mutual board prior to Peter leaving. I, I've joined the board subsequently in my role as interim CEO. Mm. And what I've observed is a board that considers the matters that are put before it, takes legal advice and other advice as appropriate to the situation at hand and makes informed decisions. And it's a board of 15 people, all of whom are experienced professionals. And from everything, everything I've seen, it's a very um, collegiate board that works together as a team. And from all I th that I know, decisions that have been made in this regard directly have been made by the entire board and have been unanimous decisions of that board. Okay, fair enough. And we understand you, you only came in at a, at a certain point. Basically, Old Mutual, though, is, it does have a stance. It says that he acted wrong, wrongfully when NMT paid him out dividends first. Couldn't this problem be reversed and fixed? Or, or is there a bigger problem here of, of trust? I mean, the relationship has, yes. has broken down. Yes, ultimately it is a problem of trust and the trust relationship between the board and Mr Moyo has absolutely broken down. I think both parties would acknowledge that. Um, Mr Moyo s making the allegation that he has made is effectively stating that he doesn't have trust in the board and the board has clearly stated that it does not have trust in him either. Yeah, so, so this can't be sort of kind of mended over. The, the Sunday Times did say the IDC is looking at the possibility that there were illegal dividends paid out from NMT, that, that's the issue. Does Old Mutual believe its stance uh, will be vindicated? You will be vindicated at the end of, of all these legal processes? We believe ultimately that the facts will bear out the version of events that, that we have laid out, which is that Old Mutual, the board, lost faith in Peter Moyer as a consequence of ordinary dividends having de been declared out of NMT prior to legal obligations having been settled with Old Mutual that should have been settled first. And, and final question on this, could there be a settlement? Um, I think the CFO has said maybe if Peter Moyo comes with, with that first, but do you think that will be palatable to shareholders? I think the board has indicated that they're prepared to engage in discussions around the settlement. Um, whether that will be palatable to shareholders, ultimately the board needs to decide what they're prepared mm. to do. Is Old Mutual's main strategy on track? So last year you exited Nedbank, there, there was a whole uh, move, unbundling of, of some companies. If, if it wasn't for this, would that be on track still? Yes, so we're very comfortable that our results for the half year are solid. It is a very tough macroeconomic environment to operate in. And broadly speaking, our strategy of delivering value to customers, continuously improving our operation, taking some costs out of the business, and ensuring that we deliver value to shareholders over the long mm. term is absolutely intact, and we think it's on track. And, and then it's so unfortunate that there has been all this... Um, news coverage uh, may be harmful to your reputation. What do you think Old Mutual should be doing? Talking more? Is, is this part of it? Well, we have been engaging uh, to, to tell our side of the story. We don't believe it's productive to repeat ourselves continuously because the facts haven't particularly changed yeah. until such time as you know, we hear back from the courts and we, we get something more to say about the matter. Okay, well, we appreciate your time this evening. Thank you for coming in. That, that was the interim uh, CEO of Old Mutual, Ian Williamson.